Hi! In this video, we will explore animations in Flutter and learn how to make your apps truly come to life. We will look at three different animations, from simple animated container to custom animations. Let's start with one of the simplest yet most powerful animation widgets in Flutter, Animated Container. Animated Container is like a regular container but with superpowers. It can automatically animate changes to its properties without complex animation code. First, you will need a stateful widget because we will change variable values to make the animation work. You need to declare a variable that will trigger the animation when it changes. Next, in the center of our page, we will create an animated container. Note that it requires mandatory parameters like duration and curve. They define the duration of the animation and how the speed changes throughout the animation. Other than that, this widget has the same parameters as a regular container. Let's set the size and color, which will change depending on the state of our variable. After that, we wrap it in a gesture detector so that when we tap the container, we change the value of our variable. Note that this should happen inside the setState method. Let's test what we have created. As we can see, when we tap the container, it smoothly changes its color and size. Now, let's move on to Hero Animations, one of the most visually impressive features of Flutter. Hero animations create the illusion that an element moves between screens, creating a smooth connection in your navigation. You have seen this effect in many apps. You tap on a thumbnail image, and it expands into a detailed view, as if the image is flying between screens. For this, we will need to create two pages. Let's start with the first one. Here, in the center of a scaffold, we will have a regular image, a placeholder from the internet. But to animate it, we will wrap it in a hero widget. This widget has a tag parameter, which must be the same for both widgets so that Flutter understands how to animate it. On the second page, instead of centering the image, we will place it at the top. Note that we also need to wrap it in hero here. And most importantly, we need to assign it the same tag as on the first page. Now, let's add a button to our first page. When tapped, it will navigate to our second page. By the way, each animation should have its own tag. This means that each tag should have only two elements. Let's check what we have done. As we can see, when we navigate to the next page, our image smoothly jumps onto it. Now, we move on to more powerful tools with Animation Controller. While implicit animations like Animated Container are great for simple cases, Animation Controller gives you precise control over your animations. Animation Controller is a class that controls when the animation starts and stops, speed and direction, forward, reverse, and repeat behavior. First, we create another stateful widget. Then, add Single Ticker Provider State Mixin to your stateful widget using the With keyword. Next, we declare our controller using the Late keyword. Now, in the init state method, we need to initialize it. In its constructor, we pass the duration of our future animation, as well as the vsync parameter. We can pass this as an instance because we implement single ticker provider state mix in. After that, we need to create the animations themselves. We do this using the late keyword as well. This is an animation class, 
and note that it takes a generic type depending on what we want to animate. For example, we will animate the size. In addition, let's also create an animation for color. Then we initialize them in init state after initializing the controller. For this, we use the tween class, passing it the same generic type as our animation. It takes parameters like begin and end. In this case, it is the size the animation starts with and the size it ends with. But we cannot simply assign a tween object to an animation variable. Therefore, we call the animate method, in which we must pass our controller. We do the same for the color animation, but with one difference. We will use the color tween class, which is designed for color animations. Then we pass the begin and end parameters. And don't forget to call the animate method. Now let's move on to the build method. Here we will return a scaffold with our animated container in the center. But for this, we need to use the Animation Builder widget. It takes parameters such as Animation, where we pass the controller, and a builder. In this builder, we pass a method with two parameters, Context and Child, where we return the widget we want to animate. This will be a regular container. For its parameters, we will use the values from our animations. This applies to both size and color. And we must dispose of our controller in the corresponding method. This way, we have declared widgets and different animations, but we haven't triggered them anywhere. So, let's wrap our widget in a gesture detector, where we will play our animation. We will do this using our controller, specifically the forward method. Besides this, it also has methods like reverse, to reverse the animation, repeat, to create looping animations, animate, to, to go to a specific frame of our animation, and also a status field to get information about the animation's status. But we will only use the forward method. Let's test this animation. As we can see, everything works, and when we tap the container, it changes its size and color. That's it! You have just learned the basic concepts of animation in Flutter. From the simple elegance of animated container to the power and control of animation controller, you now have the tools to create smooth, engaging animations in your apps. Remember, great animations are not just a way to show off, but a way to enhance the user experience. Use them wisely to guide, inform, and delight your users. If this tutorial was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Flutter content. Leave comments if you have any questions or if you want to see tutorials on other Flutter topics.